how do you sign a Bitcoin message with a hard wallet like Ledger or Tracer? Let's take a look and I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide here. Sometimes when there are airdrops, for example, DeFi chain announced their airdrop on 9th of September 2020. So that's when the snapshot is taken. What you need to do in order to get those DFIs or with many, many other coins, you have the same thing with many forks, always the same kind of concept. You need to be able to prove that you actually own coins on your address and you do not want to do a couple of things. First of all, you never, ever, ever want to give your private key away. Right, so never fill in your private key. Big, big, big warning. First thing. The other thing, you don't want to send any coins anywhere to get coins in return because most of the time you're not going to get your coins back because it was a scam. So you need to figure out a way how you can prove that you have coins without actually sending them somewhere. And the way this works in cryptography is by signing a message. And uh, you do this by having your wallet, for example, I use this uh, ledger, I'll link it up down below what is this model here. Um, but the same thing works with Tracer as well, very popular models. And then you have the private key in there and it's signed. So it's like a digital verification, a message that's being given to you. And then you can prove that you can actually control this address and you can control all the coins that are on there. And so in this video, I want to give you a how to guide how you actually walk this through because Ledger and their official app, namely Ledger Life, they don't have this function anymore. They had it in the Chrome app a few years ago, but now they don't have it anymore. And so I want to show you how you can do this actually very, very simple. And I'll do a screen share so that you can just follow me step by step, actually quite straightforward. So what I would use is Electrum. Uh, you can download it from their website, electrum.org. I'll link this up below as well. You go to download, you have it pretty much for any kind of version. Just make sure you are on the official site. And uh, well, then you download it, you open it. And uh, the very first thing it just asks you is, uh, well, to create this wallet. Now, I wouldn't, again, if you are not planning on using Electrum long term, for example, for me, it was mainly that I just wanted to sign a message. Then all you do here is you click next. Um, if you want, you can go a bit more in detail. You can have 2FA, you can have a multi-sig, all things that I don't really care because all I want to do is I want to sign something. So I click next here. And now this is the key thing. If you have your seed or your private key on a hard wallet, obviously you want to use this one and it works for Ledger, it works for Tracer. And now you click next. It uh, recognizes the model. Um, if it doesn't, you need to just be sure that it's unlocked, that you are in the account here, right? So it says application is ready. So I, I switched here to the Bitcoin account and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm ready on this. I click next. It basically loads it. And now this just depends on the type where you have your coins on. And this is quite simple to understand. Um, if you look on your ledger live and you can see on what address do you have your coins on, if this address starts with a one, it's legacy. If it starts uh, with a three, it's P to a hash um, segwit and otherwise it would be native segwit. So I'll just use legacy for now because it doesn't really matter, but uh, all the others work as well. And now you click next and it's gonna create a wallet for you. It's gonna ask if you wanna encrypt that. Sure, that's fine. It doesn't really matter because you're not gonna use it for much anyways. You will see this in a second. So you just click next and uh, I mean, this is a completely wiped ledger, so nothing is on there. Um, but basically what you would be doing now is you would take your Bitcoin address where you have your coins on and that are eligible to a for the airdrop. So you can just test this and you can just check the address and then uh, you this would be the address you would be using. Now, this is a completely wiped ledger, so I need to start from scratch here. So I'll just create an address here. So I'll create an address and uh, basically this is my address. Again, it starts with a one. And so now this is the, with the key part. You need to do this for every address that you control. You need to click here on tools and need to click on sign and verify a message, but you're actually signing. So this is the address here. And the message is what you are be given from the other party to sign. Um, I'm just using a random message here, but in theory, you would be using something that you would then have to sign and you get a signature. So hi, I am Julian Hosp. Okay, and now I click the sign button. So now um, this uh, app here says, do you really wanna sign? So be careful here, right? In theory, 
you cannot do anything wrong. So you cannot lose uh, the private key of your ledger. But you have to be super careful that you're not now suddenly sending away coins to someone, right? So that's the only trick here, because there is a risk that uh, basically there's a bug in Electrum and suddenly it sends the coin instead of signing. So just check the message that uh, it says on Ledger. It's not known that Ledger, for example, can be duped in you actually trying to send coins away where you're thinking you're just signing something. So in this case, it says, okay, please sign this. And uh, with this new update on Ledger, you have to click on both buttons. So I click on both buttons and uh, then it's signed. And so now basically I have this signature and in cryptography, it would be impossible to get from my address to the signature without having a private key. It's also completely impossible to get from my signature back to the private key. So giving away this signature is absolutely no problem. So this can be just as the address, you can give away the signature and all it proves, it proves that you can actually create the signature with this address. And that own, that means that you are the person who has the private key. So you are in control of everything. And so obviously I could verify this here and it says it's verified, but that's boring because I do it in the same app. So I'll just use uh, uh, bitcoin.com's uh, public version here. So we'll just copy that in here. So uh, let's use the address here. And uh, that's the address. And then I use the message. And uh, sorry, uh, that goes obviously here. So let's just say uh, Julian Hosp. Obviously, this is not checking out, right? So it recognizes it. So this is completely doesn't work. So it actually needs the right message. So now it's green. So this is completely verified. And this proves without a doubt that uh, this is actually, so I actually control the private key to this address. By the way, <laughs> this is maybe a, a small side note. Um, this is actually all that uh, anyone who claims to be Satoshi would have to do. And then we would know that one of those really, really early addresses is uh, actually his or her address. Um, it would be that simple. And so anyone who can't do this, don't trust that person claiming to be Satoshi. That's just a small side note here. But with this, I hope that explains to you how to sign anything from your Bitcoin account with a ledger or a treasure or a hardware wallet. Um, I think with uh, quite straightforward, very simple to do. So all you'd be doing, you're looking at the address where your coins are on, then you are giving the message, you sign this, you fill in the signature, you can give away the signature, that's all fine. Please, please, please never, ever, ever fill in a password or a private key anywhere. Never send coins to get something in return. So that's just really, really important. Stay super safe. I hope that explains this to you. I'll put all the links down below. Also, if you're interested of the airdrop uh, for DeFi chain, um, one of the reasons why I'm actually making this message because there was a lot of questions on how this actually works. I linked down Electrum, the wallet that I'm using, all the sites, all the tools. So you can just do this step by step. Obviously, this works for anything else as well. And uh, with this, stay safe, have fun. And uh, if you don't want to miss a video here, subscribe, click the like button, bell icon. I'll see you at the next one. Thank you so much, Julian.